Although he may look like a young version of Santa Claus, there's nothing jolly about this guy. John D. White, a pastor in Michigan, is now going to spend the rest of his life in prison for killing a 24-year-old woman. And the reason? He wanted to fulfill a fantasy about having sex with a dead body. That's right. He just fantasized about it and fantasized about it. And finally, he acted on his fantasy. There was a girl living next door. Why? Because John White was engaged to the girl's mother. So he just decides to kill her. And of course, the young woman, Rebecca Gay, was engaged um, or, or soon to be engaged. She, she had a boyfriend. They were going to get married. He was going to give her her, I think it was the engagement ring, that night. And this pastor of 14, a 14 person church on Halloween, no less, kills this girl. So, I mean, just how pointless was that? Now, here's what's sad. That, that's tragic and sad. And if it was me, I'd be, I'd be crushed. I'd be devastated. I'd be a basket case. If that was my daughter or my soon-to-be wife, I'd be dysfunctional for I don't know how long. I don't know that I could put a verb with a noun. But here's what really sickens me, okay? The guy, the pastor, got out of prison in 2007 after serving nearly 12 years for manslaughter in the death of a 26-year-old woman in Kalamazoo County. And before that, he was uh, sentenced to probation for choking and stabbing a 17-year-old girl in Battle Creek in 1981. So here's a guy who's obviously a psychopathic danger to anyone who doesn't have a set of balls. And after these two events and serving 12 years in prison, or almost 12 years, they let him out? I, I'm, I'm unable to understand. I'm unable. Uh, it doesn't compute. And this guy, after killing her and, and, and hitting her in the head with some uh, rubber mallet and, and putting a bag over her head and choking her uh, to death so she suffocated and undressing her and likely having sex with her, although it, it, it's not clear from what I've read whether he did or didn't. Uh, after all that, he dumps the body at some point, you know, some, some distance away and then goes back to his church and asks everyone to pray that, sh- that she'll be found. And another sad thing is the three-year-old son of Rebecca Gay was actually in the home or the, the trailer, I believe it was, mobile home, when the pastor did this. And then he dresses up the kid in a Halloween costume and drops him off with his father, the, the, the man who was going to marry Rebecca Gay. Now, these details are not just speculations uh, by district attorneys or whatnot. The guy confessed. He confessed that he killed her because he wanted to have sex. He had a fantasy about having sex with a dead body. And this guy, a pastor, a spiritual leader, a guy pretending to lead other people. So what kind of feeling do you have when the judge says, okay, I'm sentencing you to 56 to 80 something years in prison? What difference does that make to a soon to be husband, to a mother, to friends and relatives? What difference does that make? He should have been doing 56 years when he killed that other girl 
It's just, it, this is just crazy. And, and, you know, people say, well, you know, the whole pastor thing, you can't, you know, you can't make any link to Christianity because there's so many Christians, you know, who don't do these kinds of things. But the strange thing to me is, it seems like every week you can open up the news and there's a pastor molesting kids, killing someone, you know, you name it. And I just, I don't, you know, I don't see any atheists doing that. So it seems like there's, there may not be a direct causation, a direct link, but it just certainly seems to attract a lot of people who aren't quite all there upstairs. They're not quite, you know, you know, all the, the euphemisms. So this, this, this just, this is just sad. It's just sad, man. So, you know, the system, the system just failed. If they couldn't tell the guy had a problem, then the system has completely failed uh, Rebecca Gay and all that are related to her. Anyway, I just wanted to make this video because it just, the story just sucks all the way around. Anyway, that's it.